Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about Get Window Handle and Get Window Handles are the two methods that we have in Selenium. Get Window Handle and Get Window Handles are often used when we have more than one window or whenever we have, whenever we have to play with windows, right? Let me give you an example practically. Now, if you guys are able to see my screen, you will see that as of now, I'm dealing with a single window, right? But what will happen if I have more than one window, right? One is one window this and one is another window this, right? How will I move my control from parent window to the child window, right? So see guys, in Selenium, it is possible or in any web-based application, it is possible that many times tester will have to deal with multiple windows like this. Now the question comes, how to deal with such application whenever there are so many windows together, right? So for that reason, uh, we have get window handle and get window handles, the two famous methods that we have in Selenium. Let me write it and show it to you. Guys, get window handle will always give you the parent ID of your browser. It will always give you the parent ID of your browser or it will give you the browser ID of that browser which has the control. I will explain the meaning, please don't worry, which has the control. What does it mean? Guys, the ultimate goal of my get window handle is to give me the browser ID wherever my control is present as of now. Guys, let me tell you, if you are playing with multiple windows or multiple windows and child uh, pop-ups, right? All windows and child pop-up or all multiple windows will have their browser ID. But get window handle is not going to tell you the browser ID of all the tabs that are open. No, get window handle will only give you the browser ID of that particular browser that has the control. Let me show you practically. Probably then you will understand better. That's why all the Selenium classes has to be practically. Otherwise, chances of understanding will definitely be very less. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a class. Give the class name as get window class and this class will have a main method or you can also have at the rate of test annotations. So here we are going to launch Chrome driver. Driver is equals to new Chrome driver and let's import it. You know what this line will do? I need not tell you, I believe. It will always launch the empty browser. Then it will take you to a website called as whatever the website that you will mention here. So I have passed www google.com take example i also wish to maximize my browser driver.manage.window.maximize with the help of this driver i want to play with my get window handle this is the method i'm talking about. get window handle right guys get window handle return type is a string why because i have said you the reason because it always give you the browser id guys always ids will be a uh, browser id will be alphanumeric and you know that out of all the data types that we have in java only string is one of the data type that we have in java that stores alphanumeric value so i'm going to pass here string and i'm going to give my reference variable as parent id i'm done i'm just going to print my parent id here so whatever the parent id I have received here i'm just going to print it and i'm going to run it once this is done you can go back to your eclipse and this is the alphanumeric value guys this is the parent id of which browser the one that you have run so as of now you ran this particular browser as of now right which is Chrome and you opened a website called as google.com. And what is the browser ID? The browser ID is this of this particular URL that you launched just now on Chrome driver. If you guys are thinking that in case if I run it again, if you guys are thinking that ID will be same. So let me tell you, no guys, every time you run a program, the browser ID is going to be different. Each and every time you run the program, the browser ID is going to be different, different, different and different. Now, not always the browser ID can be same. That's what get window handle is all about, right? So if someone will ask you tomorrow, what exactly is get window handle? Guys, get window handle will always give you the parent ID of your running browser, right? Or it will give you the ID of that particular browser that has the control. Guys, as of now, the browser that you are running has a control, right? You have not yet moved the control to the any other browser or any other app, right? Now, let me show you what get window handles will do. This is about get window handle. What about get window handles? Guys, we also have one more method called as get window handles. It gives you the browser ID or browser IDs of your parent and child 
browser. So get window handles will give you the browser ID of your parent and child browser. That means if you have a browser open and you have a tab open here, one and two tabs, right? So this is going to be your parent browser or parent tab. And this is going to be your child tab. Let me show you practically. Don't worry. Watch out. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you this. I'm on this particular website called google.com and I'm doing the right click on Gmail and opening one more tab. I'm pretty sure you have understood now who is parent tab here and who is child tab here. Guys, just like in normal life, parent will come first and child will come later. Here also, whichever tab has come first is a parent tab or your parent browser, uh, whichever have come next is called as a child tab. So pa parent tab will give you parent ID and uh, child tab will give you child ID. But now the question also comes, is having the child tab always mandatory? No guys, having child tab always is not mandatory. Just like in normal human life, having child always is not mandatory for any parent. Take example, just like that, if you launch any browser like or if you launch any website called as google.com, whether child tab will come or not, we don't know. It can come if you perform some action, right? Let me show you practically. Guys, as of now, you guys can see that I am launching a website called as google.com. That's all. And if I do now get window handle and get window handles, what I will get? Let me show you guys. I'm going to write a statement here called as driver.get window handles. And uh, the return type of get window handles is a set of string. Oh my God, what is this? Guys, get window handles. The return type is a, a set of string. That means just because, as I have said, you it has a capacity to give you multiple IDs because some browser will have multiple tabs open, parent and child opens, right? That's why the return type is a set of string where set is an interface, right? I'll show you. Please don't worry. Give a reference variable. So I'm giving the reference variable as parent child equals to. And uh, let me import this set coming from Java util, not from Z star. Please remember, you can hover over set to check what exactly is this. You can see it is purple eye. Purple eye always indicates interface. Please remember, guys. Now, just like how here you have printed your parent ID, here I'm going to print my parent and child ID. And I'm going to run the program once again. After running the program, you can see here, this is this line is a result of my this, which is called, which is a result of my get window handle. And this line is a result of my get window to handles where I'm supposed to get back both parent ID as well as child ID. So the first one that ID that you get is always a parent ID. But since there is no child ID present here because there is no child browser present, we did not get any child ID. So guys, this is the result of your get window handle and this is the result of your get window handles. Now, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to take you to a website called as knockery.com. After taking to you uh, to a website called as knockery.com, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this continue with Google. After clicking on this continue with Google, now you can see I have two windows. One is this window. Hope you guys are able to see. And one window is this, right? I got two windows, right? I got two windows now. One is behind, one is in front. I hope I need not tell you now that out of these two windows, who is parent and who is child. If you want, I can tell you again, whoever have come first is the parent and whoever have come now is a child, right? So if you look at this uh, website called as register or knocker.com, first is a parent browser. Whoever have come next is the child browser. So let me show you this particular part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch this particular URL. After launching this particular URL, I'm going to maximize the browser. After launching this, I'm going to click on Google. So let me see how I can locate this inspect Google. So I got uh, Google text here. So I'm going to write a X path. Guys, please notice there is a way to write a X path whenever we have the text available with us. And the way to write a X path here is double forward slash your tag name. The tag name is spam dot equals to the value. I'm going to show you once again. Please don't worry. I'm going to inspect my Google. After inspecting your Google, you guys can see what I have done. Double forward slash. Why double forward slash. This is how I'm locating my element with the help of a X path. What kind of X path is this? Guys, X paths are of two types. One is relative X path. One is absolute X path. This is called as relative X path because double forward slash has come, right? And what is span? This is a tag 
agony. The dot represent, I'm, I'm going to deal with the text message equals to Google. Once after doing this, you can see total count I got is one of one. If I have one of one, that means I can utilize this for clicking purpose, clicking on Google, right? Watch out. So what I'm going to do now, I have launched this particular website. After launching to this website, I have maximized my browser. After this, driver dot find element. How? By X path. What is your X path? This is your X path. Wonderful. What is return type of find element? It is web element interface. Please remember, guys, the return type of a find element is a web element. So web element A1 is equals to, in this fashion, you can write it, hover over web element, import it. You can hover over web element again to check that web element again is a purple eye. I always indicates interface. Now, with the help of this A1, you can perform function here. What function you want to perform here? What action on that Google link you want to click? So just type click. So let me show you what exactly I'm trying to do here. I'm opening this nocter.com, clicking on Google. After clicking on Google, I got my parent, I got my child, and now I'm going to do get window handle and get window handles. Guys, now you can see this particular line is a result of my get window handle. As you know, get window handle will always give you the parent ID. Doesn't matter child are present or not present. Doesn't matter children are present or not present because I have showed you that get window handle will always give you the parent ID. And as you know, you have only one parent here since only one application you are launching. So it is the result of your get window handle. What is the result of a get window handles? Parent ID and the child ID. Since you guys, after running uh, the particular application and clicking on Google, I got one child. So this is my parent ID and this is my child ID and this is my parent ID. This line is result of my get window handle and this line is result of my get window handles. So this is uh, this is what is the main difference between get window handle and get window handles. Before I conclude this video, let me take you to the website again. Want to show you something? See guys, this is my parent window and this is my child window. Get window handle will give me the ID of this particular browser. Get window handles will give me ID of my parent also and my child also, right? Guys, it doesn't matter how many child browsers that you have. It doesn't matter. Get window handle is not going to care about it because get window handle will always give you the parent ID only. But get window handles will take care of the parent IDs as well as child ID. Why I'm teaching you this? What is the main purpose of this particular topic? You will understand slowly in your upcoming chapter. Make sure that you guys are watching my Selenium playlist in which I have uploaded all the videos one by one. Only if you watch that in a particular fashion, you will understand that what exactly is happening. See you in another video, guys. Till then, take care.